Hey everyone, Cody here, and today we'll be doing another Ford painting. Um, now, if you saw the last video, I think if I uploaded it correctly in the right order, you'll have seen another Ford painting that I did that was white, black, and gold. Now, I haven't put the paints away, and in some other video I talked about how I like to do multiple paintings in the same colors, or at least some of the same colors, so that um, before I put everything away, I can just use it again before I have to clean it up and get different colors out. So today I'll be doing another black, white, and gold painting, but I'm also gonna add some red so that we get a little bit of pop to it. I did a painting a while back called Casino Royale that was red, black, white, and gold, and I really liked that painting, but that was not a poured one. So anyway, we're gonna, that's what we're gonna do today. Now, I'll run through the, the, uh, the stuff real quick. We've got black, this is a Glidden high gloss. Got it from a department store. Not what I normally use, but it was on sale. Thought I'd try it. Um, it's okay, I won't use it again. Red is Dun Edwards, it's called Hot Jazz. The white is also Dun Edwards, which I use all the time. Uh, and then the gold is PPG uh, Metallics, and that is what we'll be using today. Um, so what we're going to do first is we're going to start with a base coat of white. Um, you kind of have to put some kind of base coat down um, or else the paint won't really move. I used a little too much there, but oh well. Um, it's going to help the paint move, so it's not a big deal. So what we're going to do is we're just going to push this out to the edges so that once we put our actual paint on here, it kind of uh, helps it move. And you'll see these little flakes in here. It's because the lid had some dried paint on it and they broke off and fell into the paint. So that's why there's little flakes of, there's like these little square flakes in here. They're not frosted flakes, so can't eat them. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna push this white paint out to the edges. It's okay that it used a lot because it's gonna help that paint move really well. Um, I haven't been diluting my paints. I don't know if I should, maybe I should, because it'll probably help them move, but at the same time, I, I really like having those thick paintings because it just gives them a nice volume. So we'll see. All right, so I'm gonna push this, uh, this paint out to the edges here, and I think we're pretty good, pretty covered. Um, so I think that's probably pretty good. I reuse my paint sticks and stuff, so I just put it in a bucket of water. All right, so what we're gonna do is, I've already got a little bit of paint in there. Since there's a lot of white, um, what we'll do is we'll start with the, or I mean, sorry, there's a black in the cup, so we're gonna start with some white to kind of balance it out. And then we'll do, we're gonna add some gold. So I hope, so we'll add the gold in there. And I'll just kind of sit right on top. I had quite a bit of gold. Um, then we'll do some red to kind of break it up since to make sure that all the colors in there. And then once, we'll, once we've got the red, you can see the color sitting there. We're going to go ahead and stack it one more time just to make sure that's enough paint to cover the, the canvas. So we've got black and then white. There's a fly over here that is watching me paint. It's kind of, kind of getting in the way here. Oh well. All right. So then we'll do. No, go away, friend. All right. So we'll do a little bit more gold and a little bit more red, and that should be all the colors. You can see that they're sitting on top. I'm not going to mix them because when I mix them, they may start to turn gray. I really don't want that. So here we are. We're going to put this right in the center. And we're just gonna release the cup. And I'm gonna take the, the little entrails here and just kind of put them around the edges. This will give it, you know, this will kind of fill out the painting and help it move once it gets to those edges. It's also going to make it so that, you know, I'm not kind of making this cloudy. All right, so now that we've got it on here, one thing that I learned from some other uh, poured painters is to always kind of reach the edges and then you basically go to each edge and then bring the weight of the painting back to the to the middle. So let me flip that over real quick. Now that we've got it there. Oh, I think there's a B out now too. Cool. Alright, so I'm gonna bring that down. 
Yeah, there is a bee over here. Oh, I'm not afraid of bees. All right, so now that we've got that, we're gonna go ahead and bring it back to the center. You can see it's sliding. Go over again so you can kind of see that. And you know what? I hate that that didn't reach the edge, but I think we'll be okay. All right, so we're gonna bring it back. You can see the weight of the painting is here. Um, and what we're gonna do is once we've got it in the middle, we're gonna start hitting the corners and uh, this paint should pull to the corner. It's like it is pretty nicely, good. One thing I don't like is this pinkish red that it's made. I'm not a fan of that, but it is what it is. All right, so then we'll, we'll go ahead and pull that back and we'll go ahead, we'll actually do this corner here since we're already on this side so the paint doesn't have to go over itself too much because I mean you got to think that it's every second that it's on here it's drying so we don't want it to dry too much also it's going to shift those back ones quite a bit so for our, as much as we um, keep moving it you're going to lose the paint because of this because it's going to go off the edge um, so you're losing paint but you're also it's also drying so it's not like an issue, but at the same time it kind of is. So you can see that we've kind of made it to the edges and everything, but we're starting to lose the paint. I really like these veiny looks, but um, I don't know how much, I don't know if we have enough paint to finish out the painting, just because we lost a lot up here. But we'll see, we're gonna try to, we're gonna try to push it down and force it to the edges here. And it's like dripping over my hands. So we'll try to, we're gonna try to help it out here. What I'm doing is just kind of pulling the paint down by breaking it off so it's not so thick. And it looks like we're gonna get the edge here, which is good. All right, awesome. Put it back. And then the last edge is here, so we might actually be able to get this last edge without adding more paint. I'm not 100% because it's not moving very fast now. So I don't, I don't know if we're going to make it. It does not look like it. So I think I'm going to have to add just a little bit more to the edge, so we're just going to do just a tiny bit of black, just a tiny bit of white, I mean gold, sorry. Um, and there's a lot of red, but I'll go ahead and add just a tiny bit of red, and a tiny bit of white, and then we'll go ahead and I will stir this one. All right, and we'll go ahead and throw that on there. So we'll kind of cover over, we're going to cover over some of the old stuff so that it pulls it with it. You kind of see, just trying to reach that part up there. All right, I think that's good. So now we'll just pull it down so that the weight of it pulls down. And we'll kind of leave, we'll leave those little pockets of white. Why not? I probably shouldn't have mixed it because now I've created like a, a pink, but what can you do? And let's, once it's got kind of enough off, I want to lose some of those little cells. Yeah, I think that's good. All right. Oh, apparently there's no guard under this one. Gonna have to hold it, kind of clean up the edges here. Oh no, it got some on there. That sucks. Well, I 
it's touched the edge, but I think it's okay. Um, so, actually, I wonder if I can add a little bit of swirls. Let's do this. Let's wipe some of that off. Get some of this good paint on there. Well, it's not ideal. Actually, what I'm going to do is there's a little pocket of paint right there. I'm just going to dip that in there. And it didn't do a whole lot. Well, that's going to bother me. <laughs> well, you know what? There is, that is so cool. Um, I'm going to pour some of that on there and then try to dip it off. So let's just do a little bit of that. And of course now it sticks out like a sore thumb. I wonder if I can salvage it. Nope. Well, I mean... So it was pretty good until that point. <laughs> then I kind of ruined it with that. So, I mean, honestly, you saw it, so don't try to fix it if you get the colors on there, because then you'll tend to mess it up. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you the painting, the full one. Um, because of that corner alone, I don't think I could sell this painting. I like it, and I might give it away, but I just, I'm not. I'm wondering though if I can tilt it and get the colors to run. No, they're not moving at all. Okay, so let me go ahead and bring you guys over so you can see it. So overall, I mean, aside from this corner right here, it actually turned out pretty good and it's kind of sad because I really I was starting to like it but because of this corner I don't know if there's anything I can do and the paint is set so much that if I tried to move it I don't think it would I don't think it would help I'm thinking about maybe adding another layer um, so I don't know well I probably won't I'll just leave it here but anyway guys if you guys like this video please like rate share subscribe and uh, yeah I'll see you guys in another one take care